Hello students. So we have been solving the physics section of the JE main paper of 2017 and we have been using the code D for all the solutions. This is question number 40 from code D. In this we have been given a Young's double split experiment setup in which the distance between the two slits is given to be equals to 0.5 mm and the distance between the slits and the screen is nothing but equals to 1.5 meter that is 150 meters 150 centimeters as given in your question. We have been using a light which consists of two different wavelengths. First is of 650 nanometer and the second is of 520 nanometers. Now using this, we need to find out the least distance from the central maximum where these two will produce a common bright fringe. So in order to do that, let's find out the position at which or the fringe of which this two will produce a, a common maxima. So let us say that the nth maxima due to lambda one coincides with the mth maxima due to lambda 2 that is light of wavelength 1 that is 650 nanometers and light of wavelength 2 that is 520 nanometers. So we know that the center of the nth bright fringe from the center of this entire screen is given by at the position the y coordinate is given by n times lambda into capital D by D where capital D is 1.5 meter and small d is nothing but equals to 0.5 mm. So as we see in order to both, in order for both of these wavelengths to produce a common bright fringe over here, they must coincide. So we're assuming the nth maxima due to 650 nanometers, that is lambda 1 d by d, to coincide with that of the y axis, the y position of the uh, mth maxima due to lambda 2. So the mth maxima due to lambda 2, that is lambda 2 delta d by d, these two must coincide. So if example, for example, if my maxima coincide here, that is a y n, these two must be equal because for the y position to be same, this condition must satisfy. In order to solve this, I notice that d, d, d and d gets cancelled and hence lambda 1 times n should be equals to m times lambda 2. That is the ratio of lambda 1 and lambda 2 would decide the ratio of m by n. Now I know that my lambda 1 is nothing but equals to 650 nanometers and my lambda 2 is nothing but equals to 520 nanometers. So on solving this, I get my m is to n is nothing but 5 is to 4. So my fifth maxima of lambda 2, that is 520 nanometers, would coincide with the fourth maxima of lambda 1, that is 650 nanometers. So I'm just assuming my values because since I need to find the least, I'll just assume m equals to 5 and n equals to 4. So this could have been any value 65 as well as 52 can could have also been the value of m and n but since we need to find out the first and the least position where this maximum would be formed we can take m equals to 5 and n equals to 4. Now in order to find the distance that is this distance the y coordinate we can just use this equation only thing which you need to take care of because in order to find this we must take the proper combination of n and lambda. For example, m equals to 5 represents the lambda 2 and n equals to 4 represents the lambda 1 since we have taken them here as follows. Now in order to find y n, I'll just use, I can use any one of it. So I can either use m equals to 5, n equals to 4, but with that I need to, I need to take the proper wavelength associated with that maxima. So m equals to 5 is corresponding to my lambda 2. So I'll take m equals to 5, lambda is equals to 520 nanometers, which would be 520 into 10 to the power minus 9 meters. Please take care of the units into, uh, sorry, that is capital D, that is 1.5 meters by small d, which is 0.5 mm or 0.5 raised to the power minus into 10 to the power minus 4 in order to convert this into meters. So we have to take care of the uh, units as well. So in order to, in, in, in order to solve this, we just need to solve this entire equation and my final value comes out to be 7.8 mm. Please note, I could have solved the same thing by using n equals to 4 and lambda equals to 620, uh, n equals to 4 and lambda equals to 650 nanometers and I would have got the same, I, same answer. So the minimum distance at which after the central maxima, these two, pro, uh, these two interfere constructively to form a central bright, uh, to form a maximum, a maxima is nothing but equals to 7.8 mm. I hope you were able to understand this, how this question and the solution worked. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and also hang on to this because we'll be uploading more video solutions very soon.